video we had done joint cost allocation using the physical quantity or the physical unit method in this video we're going to cover joint cost allocation using the sales value at split off point method taking the same scenario which we had taken in our previous video here you have the joint cost which is uh, 42000 two products have been uh, produced product a and product b other than this one more point i just wanted to make clear along with the main products sometimes during a common manufacturing process we get something known as a by product now this by product generally it is very low in the quantity produced as well as the total value as compared to the other products hence the treatment of the byproduct depends upon whether the total value is really material or immaterial if it is immaterial then uh, it is taken as a scrap whereas if the value total value of the byproduct that we are producing in the common process it is material and it is inventoriable that is it is considered as a part of uh, inventory it is capitalized as an inventory then the value of the byproduct is deducted from the joint cost so joint cost minus the value of the byproduct only the rest of the value we will be dividing among the main products i hope this point is clear this is very important please all of you make a note of it that is if the byproduct is inventoriable you will be deducting the value of that from the joint cost whereas if it is not inventoriable the whole joint cost will be divided among the main products so now in this uh, episode i have already cleared to you that this is a split of point and the whole scenario is clear to all of you let's work out an example to see how the sales value at split of method works now let's see how to allocate the joint cost of 42000 among product a and b we have to first find out the sales value at split off point which will be equal to selling price per unit of each product at the split off point into number of the units of the product produced so sales value of product a will be equal to 12 into 2000 which is 24000 and for product b it will be 14 into 3000 which is equal to 42000 now this joint cost of 42000 please don't confuse it with this amount let's see how much of cost will be allocated to product a it will be equal to the total sales value of product a divided by the total of these two which is 66000 into the joint cost that has to be allocated now some students what they do is they first find out the percentage that is 24000 by 66000 into 100 there's no problem you can do that way also and based on that percentage you can allocate the 42000 amount which is equal to 15272 for product b it will be just minus 42000 from uh, 15272 from 42000 or same way you can do 42000 divided by the total into 42000 that will give you 26278 so this will show that the total joint allocate cost or allocated will be equal to 42000 any doubts please do let me know in the comments below or you can even mail the questions to me for which on which you have a doubt i will definitely come back to you with the solutions till then take care and see you bye bye